I worked for his mom. Years ago, before we ever even thought we would date each other, it kind of came full circle when I was looking to hire at my job. And, and so I ended up interviewing her, hiring her. and That's where we started to crush on one another. That's kind of where things took off. He was goofy. He was always the, the one cracking the jokes and making people laugh, but also really quiet at the same time, depending on who he was around. Anyone that's in her circle or in her family, she's real protective and real loving, and she'll go to bat for anybody. Just her passion for other people and how she takes care of all of us. He loves us unconditionally, and that's just something that you don't really find. And he is the best at making me laugh. He's so funny, and we just can be ourselves around one another. When we got engaged, it was kind of spur of the moment. Like, I didn't have the ring, and like, oh, I'm going to do it at this certain time. But we were all at the beach, just us as the family. We had been on vacations with my parents and stuff like that, but we went just us and the kids. We're laughing and playing and all out there in the sand. And I'm like, this is my family here, and this is where I need to be. He's so pretty. You a princess? Hmm? Yeah. And that's when I was really like, I think it's that time I need to get the ring and I need to marry this woman. There are so many emotions that fill my heart today. Joy is I remember the day you were born and I was given the greatest gift. Pride when I think of everyday accomplishments you thrill me with. Happiness that you have found true love as you become husband and wife. Peace that you now have a partner to share the good and the bad times as well as walk through life. Sadness that my special years with you so quickly flew. Gratitude above all else because I was blessed with a wonderful son like you. We were hanging out quite a bit and we started to realize that, you know, we might get serious and so then we introduced him to the kids and once I seen how good he was with my kids and how willing he was to learn and adapt to being a father, that's when I realized that I really loved him. I love you. You gorgeous to me. My firstborn. You're so much so beautiful. He's like, where are you taking me? You can have one. Dang. <laughs> Clean up nice, huh? You look beautiful. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Yeah. Watch the hoops. <laughs> look at you so handsome. The house much it drags on the floor taller <laughs> than me. Dearest family and friends, we come together today to share the joy of Dylan and Brooke's love for another as they take each other's hand and begin their life together as husband and wife. Brooke and Dylan have asked me to thank you all for coming to share this special day with them. They want you all to know that your love, support, and friendship means so much to them. In this time of celebration, Family members who are no longer with us are greatly missed. However, we know that they are with us in spirit. For this reason, we will honor them with a few moments of silence. For Johnny, Brooke's father, her uncle Ronnie, her dad's twin brother, Blake, Dylan's brother, and all the grandparents of Brooke and Dylan who have passed whom we know that would love to have shared this time. The love that Brooke and Dylan feel for another, that love is expressed here today and demonstrates not only their joy in the present, but also their commitment and excitement for the future. Brooke and Dylan's marriage is a promise today, a choice to love each other even on the hard days. 
you are acknowledging God's supernatural and sovereign power to keep you and give you both the ability to love each other beyond your own abilities. Dylan, I want to charge you to love and cherish Brooke as Christ loves the church. Husband, love your wives as Christ loved the church and gave himself for her. Brooke, let the wife see that she respects her husband and her husband has full confidence in her. She brings him good and not harm all of her days. Brooke, I charge you to look to God for the ability to love Dylan unconditionally. Brooke, do you take this man to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in matrimony, to lean on him, to love him, to comfort him, honor him in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you both shall live. I do. Dylan, do you take this woman to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in matrimony, to lean on her, to love her, comfort her, honor her, keep her in sickness and in health, in sorrow and in joy? to have and to hold from this day forward as long as you love your I do. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. And pledge you my love. And pledge you my love. Today. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Always. Always. And forever. Forever. Brooke, as you place this ring on Dylan's finger, please repeat after me. With this ring I thee wed. With this ring I thee wed. And pledge you my love. And pledge you my love. Today. Today. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Always. Always. And forever. And forever. Brooke and Dylan, before these witnesses, you've pledged to be joined in marriage. You have now sealed this with wedding rings by the authority of the state of Arkansas and the authority God has invested in me. I now. Pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. and Mrs. Dylan Wilson. Wanna be there when the voices in your head. And I always knew that Brooke was going to grow up and be an amazing person. But she far surpassed anything I can ever imagine. You are the luckiest man alive to be with my cousin. And I know that she is lucky to have you as well. Because it truly takes a special type of person to become a step parent. And from what I have seen, you are the greatest bonus dad that these two kids could ever have. May your life together be filled with endless amounts of love, laughter, and happily ever after. Cheers, everyone. One thing that I know about Dylan is when he invests himself in something, he does not do it half-heartedly. He does not do anything halfway. Brooke, I am certain that the man that you chose to marry today will always be there when you fall to pick you up. When your children fall, he will be there to pick you up, as he has me so many times over the last 27 years. you need my help But you don't have to do it all by yourself So baby when the current gets strong you need somewhere to rest your bones I wanna be there for you I wanna be strong for you Oh, I wanna hold you close but never hold you back like the banks do 